doing? My name is Thunder, and welcome to part 26 of Tokyo Extreme Racer 2. <coughs> Just had lunch, so please mind me. Uh, so yeah, this is now officially the longest Let's Play I've done, because I have not had an LP that was gone longer than 25 parts. And this is the 26th part, so huzzah! But as you can see, I have now gotten the fifth car. The BMW M3 that the car that I wanted to get, and as you can see here, it makes pretty good uh, uh, power and de not too bad with the weight. And pretty much with now that we have the, the five cars, I now have what I'm calling the Deadly Five. I didn't really and I didn't really adjust anything here, but that's okay because I don't really think I'm going to need too many adjustments. I'm going to move this a little over to the higher range just to be safe because. We are going to be going back into here, but I'm going to be doing, I guess, the order that the game, the judging by the rivals, how they show up. I'm going to do it, what it, what I probably should have done first the last time I, I came here. Go to the wand gun line, and let's, uh, let's go. Righty then. So, the re I haven't done anything, like I mentioned, nothing's been done to the, into that setting screens. Probably just never got around to actually doing it, but... It's not gonna matter because as you're gonna as you're gonna notice, in fact, you may actually just notice right there because that was a pretty decent example. This car, this BMW M3, the handling on it is exceptional. Oh, sweet! This right away we get a rival who wants to just challenge us. I just want to see, but you got an R34 Skyline, also in black, just like my M3 from Explosion. I believe is a team that is not in uh, TXR1, is it TXR2? And he immediately blew it. But this is nowhere, man. Yeah, as you, as you probably just saw there. You notice how much I was I got into a skid there. This M3, the handling on this thing is absolutely exceptional. It's so, it is damn good. And he just killed himself so hard that we finished it in 21 seconds. I think that's the fastest uh, race we've done so far. And yes, I brought put the money back up because you already know why. I don't really need to go into explanations again. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, I just try to find a tune setup for the M3 later on if I if it's ever needed. But honestly, I think we'll be okay with the way the M3 is set up right now, so I'm not I'm not, I'm not gonna worry about that. And thankfully, since the next guy is pass is uh, just past the straightaway, there's no worries about having a draw with anybody because they don't know when to turn. Yeah, you can you can just see there. Now, of course, that's just not an easy corner, simply put. But you can see there the car just it uh, the turning angle on this is so huge. It's it's able to take corners pretty damn fast because of it because it'll make enough to uh, actually get it around the corner. See, just that little bit was already on the other side, and I kind of just screwed it up because I hit it. <laughs> Anyways. But next up, we're going to be facing... Let's see, don't move past that guy, because that's a traffic vehicle. Oh, it's another explosion. Actually, no. I only I only think there's like one of each team that'll initiate a challenge, but... I don't know. But let's not worry about that. I actually don't think we've come across this car yet so far, but it is, a, of course, explosion, so... Relevant. Um, I'm trying to remember what this car is. I think it's a Nissan Sephiro or something. I honestly don't remember, but this is Silent Sash? Sash? Sax? I don't know how you're. Am I Silent Sax? I'm just gonna pretend it's Silent Sax or something. I'm not actually sure how you're supposed to say that word. If you do, please feel free to tell me, because I don't have a clue. Needless to say, though, although he's not too bad. Oh dear. Okay, that wasn't as bad. Though he's not too bad, he's not catching my uh, M3 anytime soon. And there we go, that's the win. 666 down there. New car available because we didn't have that before. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that would, with that being new car available, I would safely say that probably is a Nissan Sephiro. But that's, that's all that really matters. Anyways. We'll have to get off the, the uh, Mukaojima here and uh, just go down there to where the blue arrow is, of course, because why wouldn't I? So I'm doing this way first because unlike uh, in the first half of the game, because I think I probably should have started this way, 
just judging on what rivals were showing up here on this side compared to uh, the other side. I mean, freeway, TR racing, the fact that there's two leaders there both driving R34 Skylines, especially with Master Racer being as fast as he was. Probably would have been best if that was the last one. I, I, I waited till afterwards, but oh well. Needless to say, I'm just gonna... Fifth gear on this car seems to be a bit short, I'd noticed. Eh, not really a complaint. The car still just seems like it's low and whatnot, but whatever. No big deal for now. Of course, how I get through corners is all depending on when I hit the brakes, but whatever. So who we got here? Oh, oh wow. We're definitely getting a lot... Oh. But we're definitely getting a lot of explosion uh, members here, because here's a third member and a blue R32 Skyline, simply titled Blue Phoenix. This time, hey, they got it right. Unlike that other uh, member who was in a red R32 and has said, like, blue something now. Can't even remember. But this is proper. This is Blue Phoenix, and he's in a blue car. There we go. That's correct. Uh, I, d I don't understand how they managed to slip slip that one past having a red card and the BAD names like the title of blue something. It seemed a little what? It's down to the Hanita because this is Explosions area. I actually don't remember what the other team on this side is. I think it's um. Actually, I don't know. I think it's Dry Cruise, but it could be Highway Outlaw. Oh, hey, there's some spoilers for you. <laughs> but whatever. There we go. Another easy victory. We're, we're kind of really getting through these explosion guys. They're not really providing much of a challenge at all for the Beamer. The Beamer is just that good, I guess. I mean, it is a 500 horse, 500 plus horsepower BMW, so I guess that's to be understood. Anyway, so the next guy is actually not too far down here. Sweet. So, so far, three... three members of the same team all three have been defeated in the first go this BMW is just that good I guess I'm really I, I, really, I really like the BMW so I kind of really wanted to get myself one. Oh wow look at this explosion 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 this is the fourth straight explosion member that we have come across and it's yet another R32 skyline this time in yellow with a bit of a lip spoiler which looks what well, looks good on the R32? It is the Dancer. Well, unfortunately for him, though, we may have an R32 Skyline. He'll be, he'll try, he'll want to be desperately dancing for my attention, because I'm just gonna leave him in the dust. Because the Beamer is, this Beamer is just that good. Oh, better turn. There we go. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Nope. We're okay. No worries. Just uh, get the power down and we should be okay. Oh yeah, de we're definitely okay. He, he may be gaining, but uh, now that we're on the straightaway, this is when I can start to pull away again. Uh, yeah. Yep, now he's pulling back because he's not unable to keep up with the uh, Beamer. Huzzah! There's another win. Yeah, as you can probably tell by the tone of my voice, I'm pretty mellow today. Nothing really too much going on. I was supposed to start college yesterday, but I went realized, not realizing that I had a message sent to me to the email they give to people who register at the college I'm going to. I was given an, e an email about the program that is, there's not going to be, there, yet there wasn't going to be one yesterday, and that the first one would start next week. So this, basically, the upcoming Sunday. I, w I hadn't realized I... Guess I I should have checked the email before I left, so that's kind of my fault. But sent they could have chosen a better time to send it. I got apparently unless it's just automated. I got it sent at like 2:27 in the morning. It it said I was like that's a bit late. To, that's a bit early to do that, don't you think? They should have given a better warning than that, in my opinion. But oh well, doesn't really matter. I just I'll just start next week and see if the program the uh, course is fit for me oh hey it looks like we got yet another Sephiro so that's five this is the fifth explosion member in a row explosion is just everywhere man everywhere it's another Nissan Sephiro by the way this is Toon Man 
tuning up, tuning up the man. I see. Unfortunately, again, those he's just you know, not not as fast as my beamer. So that's pretty good because if I wouldn't be surprised if after this I ha I'll have the leader of explosion. So in like one go, like one sitting, without even needing to go back to the garage, I'll have the explosion leader out, which would be pretty sweet. So yeah, he he. That corner I didn't really do very well to be honest. Oh god, that was a, a very that was actually a pretty bad entrance for me. Jeez, I shouldn't have done that. Okay. I think we're gonna be okay because he hit the walls. So I I will argue they do lose some speed, but they don't lose as much as you do, which is the which I think is the problem. So they so I I, I was saying they don't lose any, they do. The, uh, it's been noticeable in s several parts that they do lose speed. They just don't lose enough compared to you. Like, you get blown out of the water. It's just it's just so unfair in comparison, basically. Anyways, I... If it's... We're going to have the leader. I'm going to call it safe. I want to make sure that my uh, car gets up to that little area that we're coming up to. So then, so that way, when we start, we're, I'm not going to end up... Uh, just running smack dab into a corner at the start. So just gonna give it a little bit, just get a nice little view at my uh, oh, M3, and we should be good now. All right, yes, there we go, explosion leader, yeah. <laughs> and after a series of Sephiros and Skylines, we have a uh, Nissan Gloria or Cedric or whatever as the leader. Yeah, um, questionable much? I don't know, but it's a perp, but it's big and purple, and it's known as Whirlwind. And amazingly, it's actually doing a little faster than me off the start, but I don't think it's going to have much left after that. Oh, my God. That was, that, I thought that was going to end in a... Oh, shit. I lost half of my SP right there. Jesus. For just that one little hit. So I better not do it again. Oh, dear. Okay, we're nope, we're good. We are good. And Whirlwind is going down! Oh, shit. Never, I've never been good at that corner. Just always bad at it. And he's hitting cars. Nope, <laughs> he's not coming. He is not coming at all. And there we go. That's a whole team down in one go. One sitting. Without even needing to go back to the garage, explosion is down. Sweet. This M3 is doing us good, to say the least. So I think what I'm going to do is... Um, just want to check... Okay, well, there is another car here, so let, I, I'd say, well, so we can safely probably do this uh, next blue car here. Then I may go back to the garage and just come back out to freshen up the car again. Because our trip's nearly at 200 now. So the car is not going at the performance that it would be if we just started driving, but, you know, it's still competitive, so. And because there's also a green arrow after that anyway, so might as well. This should be uh, the other team, though. Nope, this is actually a Wanderer in a Toyota Soar called Engineer. So hey, I guess the other team will have to wait until I come back out. Oops. Oh boy, okay. Come on. See so, yep. Don't and I don't really expect Engineer to be much that of, of a challenge anyway, so. And as you can see, I'm already just... Goodbye. Engineer is not really that much of a challenge for me, so... Lol. Hey, easy with the corner there. Okay, maybe we've gone in a little early. Oh my god. He's just charging in, but then he ran into the back of my car and thus uh, slowed down. We had to slow down because he hit the back of my car. He kind of can understand why that would slow him down. Okay, yes, kept it off the wall. Nice. And Engineer is down for the count for 4,254 CP, apparently. Quite a lot for a guy who, you know, doesn't have the fastest of cars. But whatever, he's down and we don't have to worry about him now. So let's head back to the garage. And I'm back, everybody. I had to kind of wait a little bit because I was just given a green arrow in front of me, but it turns out that... It's Highway Outlaw is the one we'd be facing, and the first guy up is a green 300ZX, simply known as Treadmaster. Sucks for him, though, because, you know, 
beamers faster. Clearly it's the big exhaust. Oh my god. Well that kinda could have ended a lot worse. And he almost did draw, but he managed to turn at the, just at the right time to keep this race going, which means it won't just end prematurely, which is nice of him. And, yep, car's getting fast. We, and there's over 200. Uh, wow, I'm only topping at 202. So, that, so this car's not meant for, t okay, 203 actually. Car's not meant for much top speed, but, you know. Considering we're in an area right now where top speed doesn't, although nice, doesn't doesn't play a complete 100% roll or nothing, you know, it'd be it'd just be nice. And yeah, as you can see here, there's a green arrow in front of me, so jump cut. So upon my return, we are given another R34 here. This time in a quite a bright purple color. It's definitely a Definitely a bright purple color, that's for sure. It is Kid Gloves. Not exactly sure what the word Kid Gloves is supposed to mean as a name, but whatever. It's just a stupid beauty. And he really hit the wall. He, is, he lost a, a chunk of his SP there. Not a major one, but still. And But now we're on the straightaway, and even though he's got an R34, doesn't look like it's going to matter much, because B my BMW just, you know, just faster. But you already knew that, so. Oh, come on, really? He drawed? <sighs> Figures. <laughs> he just couldn't keep me from having a complete winning record with this car. Just had to force a draw. I mean, it's not a loss, but it's still a draw. Whatever. Oh god, the next blue guy is all the way down there too, so it looks like we're gonna have to do another jump cut. And I am back. We got another, of course, it's gonna be Highway Outlaw from pretty much here on out. We've got another 300 ZX, this time in a, in a bit more of a red color. It is Manic Mickey. Or Manic Mike. It's probably Mickey, it's probably how it's supposed to be said. I wouldn't be surprised. And yeah, as you can probably tell on my CDs, not liking to play the music right away. I, yeah, I'm sorry, I can't really do much about it. I did not burn this game on some kind of bad, like, badly scratched up CD. It's just, you know, it's just a brand new Phillips CDR disc. I don't know if it matters on the brand specifically for this game. I probably should have used a verbatim disc, but unfortunately I don't have any CDR verbatims. I only have uh, verbatim DVDRs and whatnot, but not CDRs. But it doesn't matter as long as the game plays. I'm not really complaining too much. It's just, I just wish it didn't happen, but you know, what can you do? Besides, I got like plenty of Philips CDs still left, and I think I have some Memorex that I picked up a long time ago that I still need to go through as well, so... I got plenty of CDRs for not just Dreamcast use, but other uses as well. Uh... Anyways. Good news is, is the next guy down here is very close, so no jump cut needed this time around. But we got... Oh hey, it's, a, it's, an R, it's another R34 this time, but with that big wing. Big, big wing. And blue wheels on a yellow car for some reason. It is Totem Pole. Is is that... Are you? Is your name Totem Pole because of your big spoiler? Probably not. Yeah, needless to say, no challenge. <laughs> not a challenge. Which is really surprising. I kind of expected... You know, I really expected that R34 to at least be providing me some... Something old shit. Provide me a little bit more to offer, but wow, that was nothing. <laughs> yeah, I didn't mean to hit the wall there, but whatever. He's not he's not got he's not gonna be uh, overtaking me, so he's just too far back. And there we go. Twelve hundred eighteen CP, yada yada yada. Next after this. If you're wondering about, like, if all the TXRs had mandatory, had, like, replays that would automatically play after you finish race, the answer is no. This was actually the last of them. Every other TXR after this had their, had an option to view the replay, but if you really wanted to see it, you could just choose to see it and not be forced to watch it. But anyways. Oh boy, more green arrows. Alright. I'll be back. Alright, so... 
immediately upon coming back, that pink arrow is back, which is good. Because that means we can face uh, Mr. Purple Skyline again, aka whatever, whatever. Kid Gloves, that's it. I easily forget these names. Oh. Come on. Alright. Now that we're at least starting a little further away from that area, should hopefully we'll be okay. Also notice this this has two of the uh, the emblem logos on the roof of the car. There's two of them, one on the left and one on the right side. Pretty pretty cool. I mean, it's nothing spectacular, obviously, but still. Yeah. Okay, that was a bit bad. I had to swerve over just to make sure if I had to give him the bump to keep him back, but no, he didn't. He doesn't. He just simply doesn't have enough to to off to uh, give me. So he never stood a chance. And considering that now my car is going to be just about ready to do about, as you see, two over, just over 200 miles an hour. Yeah, he's he's long gone. Hopefully he doesn't do it again, though, because or, or else I'm going to punch his face in. Thankfully he didn't, and that's a win. Awesome. Oh God, I think I just got another friend request on Facebook by someone I have no idea. I don't know how I'm getting these friend requests as of late from these people who have no mutual friends of mine. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's not someone I know. I don't recognize the name. Oh dear, more green arrows. Okay, it looks like we're going to have to do some jump cutting because it looks like the last guy is going to be a little bit. So jump cut. So, after two whole laps of no no results in finding this fifth guy, I had to, t I had to go back to the garage a, a second time and now this guy is out right away. It is... Fremen? I, oh no, Fre Fremen. <laughs> really? No, sorry, it's bad stupid composite cables. I wish I could get a VGA box for my dream desk, but I can't afford it. Shame. This is, it is Iceman, that's the term. Iceman. Although I wouldn't consider a green car ice. More like a I, blue. Like a very ice, like bright blue. But whatever. But Iceman doesn't even stand a chance because he's his Toyota Chaser is not necessary, not not what we would call fast. We almost 90 degrees, and there we go. Awesome. So now that sh pretty much that should mean that we're gonna have the leader coming up fairly shortly. Right now, in fact. Ha 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 ha. But it's going to be a g dark green Toyota Supra. Pretty interesting. Not really a big fan of that front bumper of the Supra, but... Uh, but yeah, it looks very race specky, somewhat. It is Fun Freak! Dude, you're a fun- you're a freak full of fun. I'm sorry. Needless to say, though, though his Supra does seem to be the- He does seem to be the fastest of his group. Uh, I have, I still, ha he still has to face up my uh, pretty speedy M3. So, although he could, you dear, he'll probably catch right back up. Yep, he's coming. Oh, and he's hit me. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh dear God, no! I blew it big time, and I blew it again. Great. Great! <sighs> God damn it. Alright. There's no chance I'm winning this one. So, yep, Beamer's got to suffer a loss because of my stupidity. Good news, though, is, uh, we'll be... Next time I get up to him, we'll be in a... We'll be in a better spot, so I won't have to really worry about any of that kind of stuff again. Or at least, hopefully. Alright. Alright, re redo! Because, you know, I'm not... If you think I'm going to end it right there, you are dead wrong, sir. Yes, I don't understand why blue wheels like that, but whatever. Anyways. Just got to make sure I can get the chance to be in front of him. And he's got some power to his car, I'll give him that, but... Now this my beamer's kicking in and... 
Okay, I, okay, maybe I went a little too careful there, but it doesn't matter. Being safe is, at least being safe is the important part, instead of just, you know, done goofing it. Also, was careful there. Oh, but he wasn't! He just took himself right out of the game. Ouch. Well, it sucks to be him. <laughs> But, of course, we're not done yet. we got one more guy to take care of, of course. And it's going to be a big one. It's a big blue Nissan. I think it's a... I can't remember if Cedric or Gloria, because I can't think... But, but who cares? They're both pretty much the same car for the most part. This is Pressure Cooker. It's kind of a weird name, but whatever. I mean, he, I guess he cooks pressure. Oh, dear. He's on me. He's on me! Get off me! Get off my ass! Thank you. This I expected, because big vehicle, so... Didn't exactly quite think he was gonna keep up for long. And now that we're in more of a straightaway, I... F Although he actually is not doing the bad jobs, he may have a heavily tuned... Ooh! Again! Two in a row! He just took himself out! <laughs> well, it sucks to be him, too! That's two guys in a row where they just take themselves right out of the game. Just... Wow. Oops. Oh well. Not that it really matters to me, because what matters to me is that we win. Ha 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 ha. Ain't it great. Anyways. So that's going to cover it for part 26. We've taken care of that section, and we did pretty well. We only had a single loss. And that was mostly because I blew it, but whatever. So, when we come back to part 27, we're going to be taking a tackle on the other side, because that's just the logical thing. Anyways, <coughs> I had to get that out. But anyways, uh, as always, guys, thank you for watching, and take care.